Hello and welcome back to Bump Love. If you're new here and like content on motherhood, parenting or womanhood, then consider subscribing to our channel. But if you've been here and you're an OG, welcome back. Yes. It's so good to have you. Uh, this week we are going to discuss something that came out of a message that one of you sent us. And we love those messages. Yes, and it was really on the dynamic between mother and father when the discussion on developmental delays comes in the home. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. So good to see you. Good to How see was you. your week? Great, great. Good. good. Really good. Yeah. So you saw the <laughs> message, but before we get into the depth of that message, or just to discuss that message, I was, I was wondering if any of you have noticed any delays, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a developmental delay, but mm. any delay in your children, what were they and what did you do? Because here's the thing, children grow differently. Yeah. You know, they, 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 yeah, they do grow differently. So it might not be even just a developmental delay, it just might be a genuine delay. Like, yeah. everyone is writing, yours is still writing yeah. badly. You know, just those... <laughs> Those, those small That's, things yeah. and the big ones, they are seemingly little, but what were they and what did you do about it? Um, Micah was not too crazy about birthdays. You know, like the way kids are all oh, cake, the center of attention, yeah. blah, 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 until like his fourth birthday. I actually have a video where on, the third, on his third birthday, we brought cake. We were now singing for him. We told him to cut and he literally ran away screaming like, I, I, I'm not about this life. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm not was a clown. No, we were home. Like there was no. no yes, he's afraid of clowns, clowns, but there was no clown. It was strictly family. There were no friends. There was just, yeah. yeah. But I've talked about Micah's um, speech yes. delay, and I don't want to dwell on that. Um, I think do there's you think something I should? new yeah, to learn? I think you should. Oh, okay. There's always something new, new to people learn. People that have come onto the platform. Yes, family. yes. I mean, yeah. one of the most frequent messages I get is about speech delay. To be yeah. honest, my inbox is always awash. Either my hair or speech or delay. delay. It's one of the two. Um, so yes, Micah did have uh, an issue with his speech, which we noticed at about age two, two and a half. So he could say a few things. He could say, um, so he could count, interestingly, he could count up to 10. But like constructing sentences was an issue, yeah. He couldn't express himself and request for things, ask for things like his peers. Mm -hmm. And so we took him to a pediatrician who, thankfully, it's my mom who noticed. And to be honest, if it were just me, I would have thought, like, you know, the way they tell you, Abana, people, kids are different. Mm -hmm. You know, he will, he's going to start talking eventually. In fact, people will tell you things like, boys um, yeah. progress slower than, yeah. than girls, which I think there is truth to. Mm -hmm. Um, but in this case, there were other things accompanying the speech delay, which is what you should pay attention to. Sometimes speech delay is just speech delay. Other times it's accompanied by the lack of eye contact, um, the desire to play alone. It's not very natural for children. When they see other kids, they may hesitate in the beginning, but eventually they'll want to interact with other children. Micah enjoyed his own company. And then there's the repetitive actions. So he either liked to bang, uh, like a, a table or a wall or he liked to hum a certain tune for a very long time or he was very attached to a particular toy or a particular item it may not even be a toy just like a piece of wood or a piece of plastic uh, and so because of those reasons we decided to see Dr. Biaragaba who is who I usually recommend most moms to who reach out to me he's very thorough and he's been in the business for a very long time and he's very honest. He's uh, he's muchiganes. Muchige. Uh, it and comes it's, out. It's, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you go there, anger, you are ready. And he, and he will warn you. He'll be like, so I'm I'm about to share some hard news. Uh, <laughs> but your child is yes. So um, we really and then he gives his patients time, which I guess is testament to a good doctor. Um, so we're in his office for about 40, 45 minutes, and all he was doing was assessing Micah and spending time with him, asking him questions. So Micah, of course, was distracted. Phone blah 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 like looking around in his environment and he was not really paying attention to that doctor so he was taking notes which is what the assessment typically looks like and so he told us um yes there's an issue with speech delay he could be on the spectrum yeah. by spectrum i mean the autism it's spectrum important. um but it's too early to tell so. however it's important that you do something about it 
and so he recommended us to um, um, a school in Mutungo where we took, I've talked about this story, my God, for a very long time. <laughs> I feel like a, such a broken record, really. You also always adding extra things. That <laughs> really, I, that I did talk about. Tell this story because mm. I think we don't you, get tired of this. We <laughs> don't. I think you, over time, you, you dig deeper into what ah, really happened. Yes. So, and maybe when other people tell you their stories, yeah. you, you remember certain things mm, that maybe yeah. you missed. That I missed another as time. I was because telling. Times I remember the harming that you said yes. and the eye contact. Yeah. This one of beating, you I'd never, never talked about. about it. Oh, okay. You used to talk about eye contact and the harming. That's mm, the one I remember. Mm. The one of repetitively doing the same thing yeah, or being attached. To a toy? I don't mm, remember. Yeah, that attachment. Um, and so there's also response to stimuli. Micah would yeah. yell when he hears loud noise. So that was much earlier, maybe like before he turned a year into like a year and a half. Um, like when there would be a loud bang, you'd either see him do this to his ears or he would scream like it would irritate him. Um, and so watch out for things like that uh, and then we took him to a, a doctor and which delayed a lot of his milestones because even walking took a while michael was really big and chubby mm, yeah. <laughs> as a child so i think his walking was really based on his size so he walked at a year and four months yeah. while all his peers we walking. were walking so he was doing what, crawling. yeah he was crawling then maybe he would stand uh-huh with support, uh -huh, with support. Okay. Okay. the moment you said anything to do with walking it'd be like uh, Give, give me time. <laughs> I will come. I ain't about that life. <laughs> I ain't about that me. life. Oh, yeah, 1,000%. I guess because his peers were already walking. Oh, yeah. Always That's because yeah. the peers. The peers, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, those were the two major delays, the walking and the, and the, the talking. Yeah. Yeah. So, I feel like we are currently going a, through a delay, actually, with the kids right now. Oh. Yeah, um, I noticed that when, when we tell them, when they are recounting a story, Brian and I keep looking at each other like, what happened? What exactly happened? No, you're unsure. Mm -hmm. so like, hey, that story doesn't. Add up. It's not making sense. And I think what's happening. They're <laughs> 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 No, she's there <laughs> laughing in the private. Problem, the problem is that you're putting a break in that thing. But in my mind, I'm like, Bia, it like it's. <laughs> I'm no, it's actually me. both yeah. of them. Uh, it's actually uh, both of them. Go on. And mm -hmm. I think where it came from was that I started early stimulation with them late. Mm. And I pumped it. So what is early stimulation? It's really just the relationship you have with your child and the communication and the conversations. Mm. Now, they had come from a place of low stimulation mm. and Two. then I overdosed. Mm the stimulation so I think they are back like they are working back because when I when I sit with their peers I understand their what peers saying, stories yeah. like if they are telling me a full story I click oh, but Black and Bianca so talk about it from uh, let me say a theoretical point of view and I'm just like okay, help the audience understand what stimulation is so it is that it is that in, in lemon's language like now lemon lemon yeah when you're stimulating a child, you involve them in conversation, which typically isn't child language. Yeah. So when you're talking with them, you talk with them like they are. And this is a like one-day child. This is yeah. a, like yeah. one-day child. Mm -hmm. Now, when you start early with stimulating a child, it's fine. Yeah. But what happened for me was that they were like, no more children. And, uh -huh. Then I came and I pumped. Now, they came from nothing to oh. an overload, oh, yeah, and which, which I believe is not a bad thing. Yeah. Because me, I know in the back end, there's a lot of thinking yes. going on, yeah. but when it reaches the mouth, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a yeah, connection, trans the yeah. translation yeah. from, there's a disconnect yeah, yeah. between what's happening here, and it's happening to both of them. Got mm. it. It's not like it's happening to one, it's yeah. happening to both. If you tell them to tell you a full story. Like maybe where, like a birthday party that like, they attended, yes. what they saw. The facts that they get out of it, mm. the connections, they're explaining to you the connections they made in mm. their heads. Oh, yeah. As opposed to As what actually happened. As opposed to what actually happened. Got it. Okay. So I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? What yeah. did I do to my children? Yeah. What is going on? And yet those who started when they were early mm. ah like yeah, now yeah. we know what stimulation has done for my, for my car. car we know what stimulation yeah. has done you know like 
but now me who went and pumped already developed children mm. i am going through something that i'm not yet understanding and so what I've, what we've decided to do is to wait it out mm. yeah we've decided like okay let's let's, let's see. see how let's this see. yeah let's see how this comes out but we find ourselves telling we find each other telling them first stop yeah go to the beginning what happened mm. Oh, so you ask leading okay. questions. Yes, no, yeah, no. now we're having to ask leading. We're not, they can't, yeah. <laughs> they tell you the whole story. You might be there for, uh, for yeah. Day. Yeah, because they are explaining the reasons behind that. And you don't get the reason because they are, the way they are yeah. thinking about it yeah. Eh, yeah. is very different from how it's coming. And for them, they are enjoying the, and they click yeah. each other. Mm. Of course. Which, which, which I also don't understand. Because <laughs> yeah. when I hear them telling each other a story, they are enjoying like, but how are you hearing it? What did you just say? To, and then they, they, so I feel like right now we are currently going through a, a delay. delay of sorts. Mm -hmm. Another delay I feel like we are, fe we are feeling is something to do with the curriculum they are doing. Oh. So they are doing the SCE curriculum. Mm -hmm. And the way the SCE curriculum works is you, you, you lead yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. You lead yourself in teaching. You, are self. you teach yourself okay. based on what you see in a in textbook in a or in a book, okay. okay? And so what happens is you're just learning how to read, okay? Mm. Are we together? You're just learning how to read, and then that's what's teaching you. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? You're just learning how to read, but they're teaching you mathematics mm. by you by reading. By you reading. Mm. Mm. I hear you. Do you get? Mm. Add, subtract. So you, when you put them like with the UPE kids, the UPE kids are bubbled, they are rearing, what they're mm. pouring, pouring, pouring. But then they are looking at them like, oh, what's going on? What's How going do you on? Know, yes. What's happening? Because for them, they still have to read, mm. understand. They are just learning. How to, how read. to read so it's quite it's quite it's quite interesting a thing. but i know i've spoken to someone before who's told me no wait there's a commit there's a castage that's going them. to read when they reach when they learn they understand how to read and comprehend, comprehend yeah. and, then, and then they will run that's yeah. what i was wondering why you, yeah. why you so why are you calling it a delay because it's oh, that's, because that's, their peers yeah. Yeah. in have, other curriculum have okay. moved a certain mm -hmm. mile and these ones are still okay. a bit. So you, like yeah. so you feel like it's a delay. That's why I said let it, we do, We're I know waiting that, it yeah. out. No, that is definitely not a delay because yeah. I know my, my, my sister's children, mm. there's so many things that, because I had Teja, and then when they, whenever they would interact with Teja, or people from abroad when they would interact with Teja, they're always like, eh, he's doing things too quickly for his age. Mm. But what really that was, but then they, when I explained to them that no, 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 it's just that our curriculum teaches all those hard things and pushes them into your head, yeah. but that's, this is, not, this is the, the wrong way. I don't want to say mm -hmm. wrong way. It's, it's the way that we are applying now. Yeah. But the curriculum is changing, though. Yeah. The curriculum yeah. has changed, actually, yeah. both yeah. primary and at secondary level. Now they are doing the reverse. Yeah. They don't do that. It has, it's been, real been instituted. So in my mind, that's not a delay. They are not delaying according to their peers. What's happening is that they are now they are comprehending. Yes. But these ones are they're not really comprehending. They're, they're just cramming. Yeah. That's, all, that's mostly what they're doing. They pump in the hard stuff that you're not supposed to know at those ages. Oh, yes. And then by the time you grow with like you've grown, you can do everything. You can read. Oh, I remember yeah. my, my brother-in-law asked me, Felix, do you mean your son can read by five? Yeah. Abroad, no one is reading no, at six yeah. or seven. They no, read. they can't read anything for shit. No, yeah, they speak. They work. Yeah, yeah, because they, they are trying to read. teach you it's that you don't have to, when I get something like this, it doesn't matter if I've said the word or not. Mm. If, if you've ever had the word, they can read it. Mm. Yes, that's because they're trying to, there is a way of instruction mm. that is, is allowing the brain to work. Mm. Yeah. Not just showing you that, okay, Sunday, April. If you give a Ugandan student to read something they've never read, they'll, they'll, they'll struggle. struggle. Yeah. They'll yeah. struggle. That's but abroad, by the time now they attain, now that mark, mm. they when they the mark come comes, out then it doesn't matter what you tell them, yeah. what you give them. I knew I struggled with that when I went to do my master's. That's when I learned all those things, yeah. oh, yeah. where I had to literally go back. I would produce exactly what they gave me on the blackboard oh. and come back and they've given me 30%. Yeah. Wow. And everybody was so... They didn't understand how a lecturer leaves a room and I can reproduce exactly, exactly the what, same thing what, like, when they from, ask from, from the your exam. Because it came from my mode of yeah. instruction. Yeah. But, and by these other kids, you know, a, a, a kid, a Chinese kid would come to you for help. Mm -hmm. 
and you leave and now they've taught you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because yeah. they receive the information, and comprehend it, and, and yeah. comprehend yeah. everything. Yeah. So it's not that's, that's a strength actually. Not it a is delay. a strength. No, it's a, <laughs> yeah. said, it's a strength. Mm. But when you when like you sit down at a party in comparison, uh, in compa yeah, okay, yeah, there are problems yeah. that we're always comparing. Yeah. 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 But yeah. exactly, and yeah. when we discuss this we'll realize that there's certain comparisons that yeah, you that know and so that's why hence is there anything that has happened Nanga, your child you're like mm, wange is a bit yeah, i struggled and, to be I, honest. and i like that, that, <laughs> that, that uh, i like that they've taught our kids how to read what what we what we're taught is on what our children are being, being taught, taught now. i like jolly phonics because it teaches them how to sound words yeah. like it's easy for you to yes. read even a hard word because yes. you've started learning it yes. early. Yeah. like i hear zara say that sound e Ah, so yeah. they join quickly if yes. it's a math, they say, mm, ah. So yes. for us, we struggle. Yes. We just cram. <laughs> we just be like, M -A -T, yeah, math. 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 But for them, it, it has to uh -huh. make sense. have to sound it out. Yeah. Yes. I think I, I like that about that. Mm -hmm. But my third child struggled talking oh. as well. Mm -hmm. And what stressed me is, because most people, when, when your, child, your, your child, like if you have a, an only child, mm -hmm. Examples would be maybe they are not playing, yes, you need yeah, to no, take them to their peers, yeah. they are not interacting. So like don't worry, <laughs> yes. I'll be like, okay, take her to daycare, take him to daycare. Mm. He would be when he's with his peers, it yeah, comes yeah. easily. Mm. I had my first child, he spoke, he, they very hit quickly, their yeah. milestones very quickly, yeah. Dina and Pata, and then Maki came and he delayed. Mm. His speech delayed. Mm. He's walking also delayed a bit, but what stressed me most was the speech because mm -hmm. it didn't make sense. I'm like, he's with his, yeah, yeah he's with his no, he's siblings, siblings yeah. and mm -hmm. I don't know why he just can't pick from them mm -hmm. because while they were growing up, we had neighbors that also, you know, really took them out, mm -hmm. so they spoke really okay. quickly. When Maki delayed, I was like, mm. I had, yeah, he actually took him to hospital, mm -hmm. but um, the doctor gave me encouragement to, you know, wait it out a little, mm -hmm. it wasn't too late. But back to stimulation, because I had Maki when, when I had known about stimulation. Manuela had come mm. back, told us, like, we're not intentional, but now we became intentional. intentional that is the gospel she preached mm. in yeah. those years. Guys, stimulate, stimulate. I'm like, but I've been speaking to this child since he was born. What mm. is what delay? Is Things that I didn't even do to, yeah. to, the, the, other to, to the other two. So I was like, but what could be the problem? Like, I, re I would really have conversations with him. And it reminds me of what our parents do when the kids are born. Like, I realize that when, when my child is uh, little, they will watch out for if their sight is good. Hey, mm. the, the baby can actually yeah, see. Yes, the baby can actually yes, hear. They yeah. are more attentive than yeah, we are yeah. to those milestones. For them, they don't take it for granted. Mm. They That's watch true. the child like at two years. That's oh, true. yeah, she can actually hear. I called. Mm. Like yes, something sounded yeah. and, and, and yeah. she responded. They so always for them, they are that, very, yeah. very keen. Because normally Even our legs, age, they yes. cross. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. 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 Like, oh, you're uh, just there. You're just there. Yeah. <laughs> for baby. you, you're just For them, they yeah. come and really unwrap. Yeah. They so unwrap and examine, yeah, examine, they examine the feet. Something that is really crucial because I know someone that I think the mark of the, the, the child's eyesight was not okay, but she caught it a bit late. But anyway, it was already, you know, long gone. And I feel like, yeah, we really need to pay very attention. close attention to these things. They couldn't see, they couldn't hear. And it's, yeah, it was, it was a bit sad, yeah. So I, I like that our parents help us some of those, those things. But back to Maki, I struggled because I'm like, I've stimulated you. You have siblings that can't yeah, talk. talk yes. What is delaying you? But, you know, time passed, I think at about one going to two, he started to now speak mm. out and eh, eh, excitement, excitement, excitement. You know, as who know how to shand our word, prayer, <laughs> this child has to talk. <laughs> As you should. You get. <laughs> prayer, prayer, prayer. I, um, you have to speak. <laughs> uh -huh, anyhow, so I remembered another one, mm. and it was still with Maki. So he, he was supposed to start baby class in COVID. COVID mm. season COVID is when he was supposed to start school. And then, of course, the first year, you know, Shaki just learning how to write, how to join. And then I think the second term or third term, we're just taking them to a nearby school. Yeah. I get a call from the teacher and he's taller than his age when you see him mm. he then look his age mm. he oh, he looks a bit bigger he than his older. age mm. he, he looks older because now he's in top class but he looks like a p2 or p3 oh. child yeah he's tall mm. 
very tall. So I think this, this teacher just, I don't know what she thought, but the chick scared me. Mm. She called me and told me, like he had just returned three days into the term. She's like, Banange, this boy doesn't know how to do anything. He can barely write, guys, I was scared. I was like, what the hell? You know that scare of if it's coming from a teacher. Surely yeah. he doesn't you know. Surely he sure. doesn't know. <laughs> Gotta be he's just a baby lani. <laughs> <laughs> As a big so, baby. As a big baby. It's so, of course she, I think she looked at it. She's like, this one. She's so like, no way. Ube is just tall. Jaja class. Jaja. The judge of the class. So Bambi, it's not that he didn't know who he was. <laughs> anyway, guys, I was scared. I'm like, hey, I, I have a child who can't do these things. You know, yeah. there, are, there are children who fail. It must be worrisome. Fail. Yeah, it worried me a bit. But of course, with coaching, eh, eh, now he's the smartest, top in class. Yeah, it was just a kid's top in class, he's winning. So those were a bit of the my delays, scares, the delays, yeah. the milestones that mm. really hit me. But with, you know, waiting, and I'm not the kind that, of course, the panic is inevitable, mm. but I try yeah. to find peace with yeah. it. Because yeah. most times, yeah. eh, man, it can be a bit Stop. much, yeah. yeah. Well, I... I, I so with Teja, I really have no story. I've, I've, I've never witnessed any yeah. delay or anything. But I remember as soon as I realized that this, because it was a DM we received about uh, uh, developmental delays. I remembered a lady I had met. She was actually an acquaintance of mine now. And she had a child. At the time, the child was in high school. Mm -hmm. And she was telling us about um, her daughter. She has a daughter called Sheena. I actually WhatsApped her. She lives in outside countries. Mm. So I WhatsApped her and it's something that she was really talking about a lot that her daughter, where are you guys, your children cried at birth, she had a seizure. What? Yeah. Oh, so God. this was, uh, uh, so when she, when she was given birth, and this, she gave birth abroad, Ugandan but living abroad. Mm. So when she gave birth, the baby was really pale, pale blue, mm. and the child started having seizures. Mm. So Immediately, the doctors told them, we are preparing for a life of a brain damage. Mm. So your child may, might have some brain damage, some of his, of her um, abilities. She may not reach her developmental yeah, yeah. milestones in time, and she might only be, she may be able to go so far anyway. Mm. So just watch out for it. It's hard news. Yeah, it was really hard news. And indeed, Shina, um, Shina was only able, where you say Micah, took one and four months, she started walking at two and five months. That's when she started walking. She was only able to speak after the age of five, five years old. She was able to, sp so, and even when she started speaking, she could not construct sentences. So it was just words one and word one word, yeah, yeah, but not a full sentence. She was able to construct full sentences at eight years old. Oh. She, reading and understanding, so when, even when they started school, she was always three years younger than her peers. She was always three years older, older than her peers. So she's three classes below, below, below yeah, what yeah. she was supposed to do. So I, you know when, she, when, when her mom would speak, would say, but you see for us, we had been, we were prepared oh, for it. Oh, so we yeah. knew we were entering a life of, oh, of yeah. this is the life we were, yeah. we were expecting. Yeah. Like this was a life that we had been given, what can we do about it? So they were involved, because they had been dealing with a lot of, you know, all these neurologists, mm -hmm. a psychiatrist, therapist, speech therapists, and things like that. So they were, at, they had of a course, I was trying to remember the course, but it, it's something to do with like living with your brain injured child. Mm -hmm. So they were doing actually how she had even left work, she devoted her life yeah, to sure. sacrifice yeah, to look sure. after this child. Yeah. And the, the father, the husband was the one working. And even, it, it even hindered their decision to have another child. It was their firstborn, mm -hmm. she said, I, I won't have time for my, any other yeah. children. So she had only the one child. So she said, when they attended that course, they gave them some intensive program mm. where you could do working backwards. She gave me so many things at the mm. time of yeah. where now, this, if, when you realize things that they had to backtrack everything that they had ever okay. done. At, and they started this program when Shina was nine years old. Okay. They even now had to teach her how to crawl. As yeah. in they had to literally backtrack. Yeah. Wow. You see how, like Manuela said, we started early stimulation. Now I overforced it when they were older. Yeah. Now for her, she took herself back. Yeah, 
almost to the beginning. To the beginning yeah. of everything. Just mo normal motor skills of having yeah. to catch something, having to teach. They gave them really different things on how to improve your cognitive, your motor, your emotional skills yeah. as well. Neuro, like even looking, like, uh, you know, focusing yeah. that mm. she couldn't focus. Back to the beginning. And now you're teaching, like how it's like you're someone has had a stroke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So everything, and then they used to evaluate every, I think she said every three months, every yeah. quarter. Yeah. And indeed, it, it, it works. started working. It works. And then they had to, of course, there was some financial element involved, but where they are, they, they pay for most of those things. Yeah. So they were the mo biggest work they said was the neuro. Having to have her mindset rewired. My, uh, uh, rewired. Yeah. Now you're the 10 year old, but now you have to start from, assume she cannot understand anything. She's saying words and speaking, yeah. but assume now you're speaking to her, like you even go back to those things of, oh, you've done really well. You've mm -hmm. like reduce your, your tone, yeah. lower like emotions. It was like yeah. a whole program. Yeah. And indeed, even now, so when I, I, I sent her WhatsApp this time, so she, she sent me a voice note and she told me, Pumla, her, the daughter is now in university. Like now you cannot what? tell. Yeah, that's oh, possible. Wow. You yeah. can't tell what was happening she is uh, yeah, you you'd just think maybe and she's doing she told me she's doing developmental psychology no, she's really studying developmental is. psychology very sense. bright now she's imagine the girl who walked yeah. who couldn't even crawl she was even she became an acrobat oh, wow. in her school through yeah. high school like everything That's was amazing. worked and then they started to have potential or what she could potentially have done yeah. started manifesting oh, itself wow. yes. Right then, like you look at your child and you're like, imagine. Like, of course, Hash was like, I wish I had done this earlier. But it, it is what it was. Yeah. It is what it has worked out. Of course, you, you can see you're the parent. You're aware to see that, oh, my, they are not the same yeah. as the other one. But you can see the way she's pushing herself and doing all these things. So for you, if you're unaware of anything, you just assume she's a normal child. She's, like, a, normal she's child. a normal person. Yeah. So she's, she always tells her story of you guys. There's always interventions for all these things. Don't shy away from talking to people. Yeah. speak out and how she was you not she really out. said like she would again i think because there's, there's more stigma here over her. stigma. Yeah. all this is happening yeah. outside countries yeah. yes. so which i think maybe makes it easier i don't yeah. know yeah. i don't know and yeah. uh, not easier on the parent i mean easier to get help, help or support yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, I i was so impressed and told me shina is studying developmental psychology mm -hmm. and this is because that's, that's where her help so came well. from that's so because cool. it's psychologists who helped her psychiatrists who helped her through yeah. that and she says imagine I would what would I be yeah, yeah, you yeah. know if if I didn't have some professional intervention yeah so, yeah that's that's that, that makes so, so much sense so to start <laughs> from the beginning yeah. uh, because like you said the mistake that I made was to pump I should have taken it slow like as yes, though we were just the, beginning just but I always I was feeling like I'm running out, out of, of time, time. yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that makes so much sense because the way the brain's neurons work yeah. is that it's the, the brain is built on, on, on neurons Neural connecting pathways. with each other. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so when they are broken, the brain prunes. Yeah. We are not being used to do. It jumps. Yeah. But if you go back and go chokoza them, chokoza them, chokoza them, you rewire, restart them. It's not, you really can't work them out. But even if they've died so much, yeah, yeah. the ones that are already existing know how to yes, find to extra, yeah, to reconnect yeah. or to find other ways to grow out because that's how God made the brain. Yeah. That, it's, it's, it's that it's dynamic. Yes, it's, it's very, very dynamic. So that makes so much sense. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> while the primary role Honestly, and if you think about it, yeah. I don't know what our husbands would say about some of these things because they would possibly be like, ah, he's fine. They yeah. always say, they yeah. always <laughs> they always the child say is fine. Yeah. yeah. Fine. What do you think is the role of the village when a mother and is experiencing, feels like her child is experiencing delays? For me, one of the things that really helped was my village. Mm. I told it to my mom who picked up on yeah. Micah's yeah. delays. Yeah. Um, and I think I really thank God for my mom. She's one of those very sensitive people. She was able to, to take him under her wing, under her wing mm. and then whoever else came into our lives, so the teachers that came, the, the teachers that have, been, have worked with Micah over time, mm. she is keen to tell them, take him at his pace, or yeah. this is a, yeah. like a special arrangement. Micah, actually, she keeps saying Micah is gifted. 
Micah is gifted and it's not she doesn't do it in a derogatory way where it's like oh he's a special case special needs blah 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 it's like no he's gifted differently so um can you take your time with him and then she guides she's guided the education uh, his education path and i really appreciate so that nice. yeah but really in terms of the role of community i think we really need to educate ourselves uh, and, and adopt a curious mind, yeah. a mind of curiosity yeah. and wanting to learn, as opposed to drawing conclusions yeah. about oh, yeah. why a child is the way they are. Mm -hmm. We all have opinions about children. We've yes. seen children grow, so we think, oh, children are different. That's like standard. We keep yeah. saying that. Yeah, children are different, but they're also different differently. Yeah. 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 And, and I yeah. think rather than draw conclusions and put the mother under pressure, find ways to support that don't add on to the burden. Yeah. And I guess in community, are we adding husband into this community? Yeah. Rather, yeah. village? Yeah. Anyone outside. Anyone Ask outside. Of, usually the primary care yes, giver. Yes, outside of the pri primary care giver. Um, my husband was very supportive, and I th maybe because he believed in, in my mom and her analysis okay. of the whole situation. So it's like, what do we need to do? Let's go do it. But I have interacted with moms who come to me and tell me, oh, I've noticed this thing in my child. And they're like, oh, the father is claiming that the child is okay. I guess no one wants to acknowledge that there's something wrong yeah, with their child. Yeah. Uh, and yet acknowledging, I mean, I hear Shina's mom's story and I'm just like, what really sparked this off was her accepting. Yes, granted, she received the news early, prepared herself, but there are people who receive news and choose to bury their heads in the sand. Yeah. So my child is going to be different and maybe even go the route of prayer and not do anything. Yeah. Prayer is great, you know, but like it's yeah, also okay. Yeah, do something about it. Like yeah. use your hands, use your brain and stimulate the child. Yeah. And so I think that, especially to the dads, um, to support, I, and I know that dads offer support differently yeah. sometimes, many times actually. I've, I interacted with a couple who um, unfortunately their child was diagnosed with autism yeah. and I heard from both of them, the, the father works so earns money and she does some work as well on the side and basically what he was telling me is when they were going through this entire phase of okay let's check his ears maybe there's a problem maybe let's check i don't know the speech let's go see this therapist sometimes he would not think it's necessary for him to be on those trips because oh. he still has to make money he's not really adding value by being at there. that time by being there but of course as the woman you feel like you need the support. Yeah. yeah, and so I think sometimes it's in, it's in understanding where is the value addition here. Of course, after you're out of the, the, the mess of, oh my gosh, this, there could be something wrong with my child. So understanding for dads to understand that this is a, a big deal. I, I understand it is a big deal for you, but it is a big deal for me. And then offer support. Or if you feel like you're not adding value, find a way to explain that there is no value addition for me here. We are speaking to men. We are speaking to men. <laughs> ah, I am speaking okay. to the men. Okay. Yes. I think that because, I mean, in hindsight now, this couple are able to sit at a table and say, oh, that is what you were thinking. This is what I was thinking. But I feel like in that moment, of course, tensions are high. Emotions are high. All I want is my husband to be around, yeah. to be supportive. Even though I know you need to go somewhere and make money, that is going to be helpful for us yeah. in this season. So I, I, find, I find that find the balance yeah. where you can offer support but also explain in a loving communicate. way communicate yeah. that i am i'm being your supportive version support. your version of support yeah. yes as opposed to yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way i have yeah, to go yeah. for this meeting yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. we are here to see the doctor about yeah. about our, our, our child. child and you are informing me that you are going to a meeting yeah. <laughs> let's, see. let's let's see. can let's we break this dialogue. down yeah like <laughs> yeah for me, I actually have a friend, a close friend. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, she lives in the US, mm -hmm. but she's struggled with two children that have autism. Mm -hmm. And she has lost many friends because of the, the really silly comments that mm -hmm. come up. <laughs> yeah, those silly, silly comments on, oh my God, I can't believe your child acts like this. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you don't know them. Many times she has called people for parties. They're not even close, but they'll throw a comment. They always do. They always do. There's so always that one person, two people. Ignorance. So let's be kind, mm. guys. Mm. Everyone is dealing with something. Let's be kind. Let's be kind to one another. Yeah. Do not judge someone's child. Because many people who actually judge haven't had kids. But it's, it's very easy. Yeah. Because even when we were young and campus, <laughs> kind of my child will not we'll be like that. that. And oh, then get there. there. No one and they're the ones. ones doing it. Yeah. So I feel like we should be kind. Mm. And to the spouses, 
Um, you said something, but also many times we like to assume that people know what we are going through. Yeah. Speak out, because yeah. assumptions are the it has words we are not allowed so do not assume that people know what your child goes through you as the primary caregiver mm. are the one that really understands the epitome of you know the care that you need or that extra attention and, and i like that like, where you said mommy is quick to tell everyone else to mm. go a bit slow mm. yeah so lay your expectations many times the yeah. husbands are always you know looking they're the breadwinners they might not know what's happening in the home give them that you know feedback oh my god he's he you know today he's like this there's this so if you're dealing with him do yeah. this he needs that that information yeah. but many times as the wife you'll be there and say uh, he knows he should be knowing better yeah you're not yeah. communicating yeah. yeah this is yeah. true so yeah it comes from us this as you know the mothers communicate even to your peers even to your family members if you want yeah. your ch children to be treated a certain way mm. you can even speak it out i think that the, the, the it comes from you accepting. There's, yeah. there's a lot to do with acceptance. Mm -hmm. Because acceptance gives you the liberty to speak freely. Mm -hmm. You're not afraid to go to a crowd or tell your friends that, you know what, he doesn't settle. Because then when everyone sees them running around, they, are not, they, they will not even give, give, give a damn because you've already told them and they know what to yeah. expect and what your children are struggling with. Yeah, yeah. so it's many it's times hard it's, to communicate it's hard to, though. Yeah, it it's hard to communicate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a hard so to communicate. Be kind. That's why I'm like... Yeah, so to the rest of us, let's just be kind. Yes, yes. So be kind. I, I saw kindness recently. Mm. Uh, we, were at, um, a, we were at a restaurant and there's this lady who has an autistic child but who's really old. Much older. Much mm. older mm. and he's even older than his age. So he comes into the restaurant and he's bigger. Mm. So I remember he opened his shirt from the middle of the restaurant and took off his shirt. Oh. So all of us, you could, well, you could see all of us. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What's what is going well, on? Well, like, what's going on? Now, I quickly realized that there was another child behind him. Mm. Oh. So when he walked away from his shirt, the child came and picked, and picked up the shirt. The shirt. Yeah. Then he removed his shoes and walked. Now he passed by every table. What are you, it, what's this? Like he's really lifting your sausage. Yeah. What's this? What's this? About you, what are you eating? You yeah. what are you eating? Then he walks away. Now, remember this is a bigger child. So in your mind... You expect him you're to know. Ex you're in your but mind... is like how old? Now old. Like at this point, I don't know. No, you can't even I tell. I can't even mm. tell. But he maybe, maybe, maybe it looks like 10, 11, 12, but big mm. and fat mm. or big. Okay, okay. So you're like he's looking at your food. But then everyone was so kind. Mm. Nice. Like yeah. everyone was answering sausage. Yeah. Mm, they were and they put away the sausage yeah. after. Yeah. yeah. But they would respond. Yeah. yeah. I was I was like, hey, mm. maybe we are not too, so too bad. Too badly off. <laughs> and then the little brother, the brother, the older brother would mm. pass by and say something like, Oh, he's he's autistic. Thank mm. you for being understanding. Mm. He was just following yeah. after his brother. Then the brother would go like, play, mm. come back. Mm. And all of us in the restaurant at that time. Mm. Understood. Relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Baba, he comes and powers you at tea and just like you move. Baba, he comes and yeah. he would look like he would turn behind, look at you. Like, he would do those things. Yeah. But I think because also we saw the grace of his brother, mm. yeah. then also the mom came in and she said that now where she reached, so she was as, as asking her, you know, what, mm. what's been her experience and everything. Mm. She said, so one of the things that she has decided, because she found that she was, her and many moms fight their children's okay. behavior. Mm. Oh, yes. yeah. So she said, I said to myself, my child, is going to want to go to ask people their food. Mm. At the very least, let me teach him what to say. Got it. At the very, mm. least. Yeah. At the very least. So when he reaches you, he says, what are you eating? Mm. Is it sausage? <laughs> he has placed it in this one neighbor's plate. Mm. You want sausage? <laughs> have sausage. Then he moves. Like, yeah. at the, she was like, at the very least, mm. let me give him something. Mm. Because I know the kind of person that well, I know what life has given yeah. him. Yeah. I was so touched, not not by her or the but child, by, but, because but by of all of us. Mm. I was like, we are good we need people. More. Yeah. We are really yeah. good people. Mm. I went home feeling, 
Yeah. There's hope. The they had poured into your family. Yes. <laughs> they had poured into your The truth is, community has been hiding these kids. Yeah. Many, many mm, parents, true. especially mm. African communities, they true. will hide because they're like, how that's do I bring true. a child who will go untouched? And disorganized. Not disorganized. Mm. And it really eats them up. Mm. Yeah, that's it true. really does something to them. So I, I like that there's lots of uh, sensitization that has been yeah. going on mm. and it has helped us become kinder mm. and accept these things mm. more. That mm. it's not just, you know. Actually, we witnessed mm. the opposite of that, not recently, maybe about two, three years ago, mm. where, yes, the pe people were kind, tolerant. Tolerant. Not yeah. kind, kind. Tolerant, but it was at a home, a family. Okay. I was dating a guy. Eh. Eh. Anyway. <laughs> So, <laughs> I was uh -huh. dating a guy, they were rich at theirs. Yeah. The, not his level, I mean the, the, the parents yes. were rich. Eh? Yeah. They are in Kololo. Hello. So we were invited for a well birthday done. party. Yeah. Yeah. Birthday party, now I knew the cousin, a cousin, I was very close also to a cousin of the guy I was dating. So when he invited me, come let's go for a family function. Hey, I was like, you hey, mama, let's go. Let's go. go. Let's go. These ones who are rich at <laughs> theirs. These ones who are rich at <laughs> theirs. <laughs> mm, but pure, pure, pure. Um, they were from the western part of Uganda. Mm, okay. So, I mean, my worry there was like, I don't speak the language. These people never hear them speaking, they're speaking the language, but they was, ah, it's okay. My, my people are cool. We go. Now, I knew the cousin had an autistic child. Mm, yeah. I knew the cousin had an autistic child. And I had that, this person before talk about that child, and not so nicely. Mm, yeah? When you the one I was dating, mm. yeah, I was talking about him not so nicely. Mm. But uh, my mind adjusted. Yeah. That's not nice, but mm. we move. So we reach the party, we're there, and you know, people. So there's this child, the one who I know is, I feel like they've tried to remove that behavior from him, they suppress him. So I don't know if that's the impact, but he kind of just sits there. Yeah. When he was yeah. younger, mm. you would see him doing all those things. So say, well, mm. but now I just saw he just sat, sat there, in yeah, in a corner, and he was just doing, you know, and then there's someone there with him, like a minder. Mm who is always mm. touching him like yeah, this, touching him like this, touching him like this. Yeah, so hey, I looked, I was like, oh, um, let me call him Peter. Mm. Oh, how is Peter? I have met Peter before. So mm. I was like, oh, how is Peter? He says, hello, hi, I went, hello. And you can see when people come around him, he's happy, mm. I guess. Yeah. So that we left. Now, there was another child who was younger, maybe about five years old. Five, five. Mm. Who was now a, I, for lack of a better word, he was very destructive. destructive destructive up and here and here and everywhere and what and this guy who i was dating made a comment and yes. said but why don't people get a grip of their children ah. for me i could see it was so obvious to me that that, that, that child was on the spectrum yeah, yeah. it was so obvious and not even yeah. by action yeah. you know there are many of these kids especially the ones on the more extreme side of the, of the spectrum, spectrum you can see them yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. there is certain even i think it's, it's the fo forming of their facial because yeah. we our features are only no more, for lack of a better word, or mm. standard, because of how we engage with our, our, our responses and our... But for them, because they don't respond the way that we do, yeah. their faces form different. Yeah. So you can see it yeah. in yeah. the child that this child is on the spectrum. Mm. But the way he said it, I said, you know that this guy, is, this they boy is on the better. spectrum, right? Like, no, that child only, first of all, I know those parents, they, are so, they spoil their child. Oh they don't, Lord. he's not saying it out loud, but he's saying it here where the other family members yeah, are, yeah. and the other family members are agreeing. That they need to do better. They need to, you know, and I'm there saying, Yee. and in that, in that place is the parents of the other child it as goes. well. Not talking, but quiet, uh, you can yeah. see they are, they are quiet. And I'm telling them, no, you guys. I even got my phone. I said, that child is just on the, it's just a thing. It's a thing and yeah. so I use, if you're not going to be able to support him in this, and you're going to speak like that, do you know what's going to happen? That child is going to end up like that one. Yeah. And now that's when the mother of the other child spoke, spoke up. up and said, actually, yeah, you know me, I've actually been having problems. We only come here. They don't go to, uh, they don't attend functions at their outside, outside the sibling, family. outside the family. They only attend, even if they're those siblings, because these are their siblings talking. Yeah. They only attend where the grandparents are. Mm. That's where they attend. Mm. And they come with that mind. And they said, you know what, I had, to, I had actually removed myself from these, any social activities, because people were always talking. Talk, yeah. And I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Like, no, just educate. Just tell them what is going. Please note, now I'm there speaking my English. The, the Muganda, <laughs> I'm the there Muganda, saying, yeah. no, 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 no. You guys check, check. And I even sent them links. Yeah. Look yeah. about what this read, is. Read about and this. I remember the mom later came and said, Banangi, now we struggle. You can't it's say hard. anything. When the person says something, is it? 
that is what has been now passed through the family. That our child is unruly, they are volatile, they are distracted. Why don't, why don't we keep them at home? We are raising them badly and things. Like you, could, you just educate yourselves. For me, it, is, it was the educate yourself. I could really see that they were not trying to behave badly. They were ignorant. Yeah. They were ignorant. Yeah. They were just ignorant. That's true. Because yeah. now when they started to realize, eh, okay, that is yeah, what okay, it is, yeah. they literally became better people. And that person actually told me that that, so the person I dated, we are not together anymore because he had more bad manners even in other aspects yeah. of his life. Yeah. But yeah, and it comes from there. You can see that red flags in, 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 in things like that. You can see the red flags and things like that. Because even him up to now, he, he's sure. The child is just badly behaved. Eh, yeah, it's those there, people. Yeah, so for me, it was like, just educate yourself. And then when you educate yourself, find ways that you can support that family. Because mm -hmm. she said now there's a sister who is always around. Like when they have family gatherings and things, how this other child who is quiet has a, a maid mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's now the one who's always with this one. She's now this boy's oh, minder, minder yeah. but ex going around explaining to people. Oh. You know, because the mom's a mom is not going to do that job. No. She'll never. She because people will always say, ah, ah, ah that yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah, have to yeah, go yeah, your your yeah. your little child is done with bad manner. So this sister who is there, the sister it so the sister is now his so it's his cousin, I think. Mm. Who goes and say, No, 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 he's okay. He, you, you interact with him, he's okay. Mm. And she moves around with him everywhere. Yeah. Just for that. And you know I just wanted to emphasize something Pumla said about um in arming yourself with information because when you're informed you are more empathetic yeah you know it's like somebody gave an analogy a story actually and said imagine if you were in a taxi and there was this mom with their child yelling of course everybody's going to have this look of yeah, yeah. i'm not even saying much i'm just looking at you like yeah. madam your child is Control. making noise for us you know but if they told you that oh by the way that kid bambi she has not eaten for like three days immediately your face changes you're like hey bambi I'm so so you even want now to offer help and yes. give so i think it's important wow. first that you you don't assume that you know why the child is crying <laughs> uh, but also be curious and and get information because only then can you show genuine empathy yeah to to, oh, yeah. to oh, yeah. families no, that makes yeah. sense i think many times we ref we refuse that is it <laughs> we, we allow our bad manners to take off <laughs> While we are being kind on this side, you as a mom, also take your child to a behavioral therapist. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because the some of these things the can, can be, be yeah, yeah, the child can manage. be helped <laughs> to understand how to work better in, um, in, in, in public or in social gatherings. Yeah. So if you do your part, let us also, let's both do our part. But if we are there and your child is, 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 is he's not being helped, and you are there saying, no, no, you see his what No, let us, let's all, yeah. let's all be better. Mm -hmm. Now this be is, better. there are certain instances where being better can be really hard. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we have an anonymous here who says, hello, bump love, please hide my identity. My second born is two years and nine months. That's almost three. Now I've been stressed for a while. I've tried potty training, but I have failed. His speech isn't so okay. He doesn't make sentences of more than three. I think she wanted to say three words. If he does, he adds babyish language. I'm so stressed. The problem is I'm so busy at work. I don't have time to stay at home to concentrate on potty training. I work Monday to Monday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. My maid hasn't helped me. I have tried to speak to her to help, but in vain. Second time, I want him to go to school, but with his issues of potty and speech, will he handle? I'm broken. My hubby isn't so supportive. It's like he doesn't care. Advise me, ladies. <laughs> so maybe I could speak from like my experience, and I, I, I recognize this in hindsight, mm -hmm. that a lot of Micah's milestones, including potty training, interestingly, I had to wait out. And your child is two years and nine months. Nine months. Yeah. Almost three. Yeah. The, I think for me, the best advice I would give you is, first of all, accept that you are probably going to do the bulk of the work um, and that your husband may come on board much later. I know, a hard thing to accept. Mm -hmm. You can keep communicating your needs and telling him where you need him to support you. Um, however, I think that you need to accept that you're going to take the bulk of the work, but also don't put yourself under pressure, especially because he's nonverbal. Mm. Keep doing the work, keep showing him the potty. 
when you have the time to, considering you work the entire day. Um, but keep, sh keep doing the work, keep showing him the potty, because that's what I kept doing. There were days I got frustrated, I would show Micah the potty, and then he would go and pee behind the chair, yeah. or go and put behind, <laughs> until I said, you know what, when you are ready to use the potty, you will use the potty. Yeah. And so eventually he came to using the potty. Even things like showering himself, it's only, um, I think, la beginning of last year, that I realize now I can send Micah to the bathroom and he will bathe himself. And I don't even have to inspect oh, him. Yes. Yeah, nice. So, but I found that I found peace with certain milestones because yeah. non, being non-verbal delays a lot of teaching, yeah. but it doesn't mean you can't teach. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I also hope and pray for you that you can find work that is more flexible yeah. because 7 to 9 p.m. is not ideal for anyone. For anyone. Yes. Life. Yes. Just in normal, normal life. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. No problems, yes. Um, but you know, with, with the kind of child, I mean, we just had Shina's mom Monday, Monday to Monday. Um, I think that there needs to be some revision in that regard for you to be able to give ample time. The maid cannot do for you that job the same way you would. She's not going to put in the same effort and energy on top of the other work that she has to do at home. So I would say think through revising your work schedule and maybe that's where your husband can support you you can say look you might have to earn the bread for the next foreseeable future as i get up yes yeah. as i do that or as i take care of our child because i see things that are that need to be fixed and that need my my, my presence that would be my my advice can i comment on that partner support <laughs> <laughs> police now mm. as I, I, and I'm so excited, I was so excited about this topic, mostly because mm -hmm. whenever we have um, things to do, I love research. That mm -hmm. for me, has, it's, it's, it's innate in me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I have a very curious mind. I want to know there must be an, a reason for everything. Mm -hmm. Somehow I always go out looking for information, regardless of the subject, regardless of the topic. But most of the research I find, which is fully formed, is um, from psychologists or psychiatrists who are or doctors who are a little far removed from us. Yeah. Most of the people with best data, you'll find the USA or the U or Europe or things like that. This time, I found a really good study done here in Uganda. I was so excited about it. Mm -hmm. A paper was written by um, is Nach Anach Tende, uh, they're psychiatrists, yeah. um, Bangirana yeah. et al. Yeah. And it was exploring Ugandan caregivers mm -hmm. While they're, I, 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 you know, when you're citing people's papers, you have, you have to, to say the right have thing. Have yeah, <laughs> yes. So it was Natchitende, Bangirana, and Richard Idro et al. Mm. And they are published in a malaria journal. Mm. The, their, their paper was exploring Ugandan caregivers' experiences of parenting a child with severe illness. Mm. Now, theirs, they decided to use a proxy of malaria in Uganda. Because an appro what a proxy means, when you do a study, you need a sample space of a certain number of, of, of respondents, yeah. of people to participate. Yeah. And because malaria in Uganda is the number one um, killer, killer disease mm -hmm. for children under a certain age and illnesses, it's yeah. the number one cause of illnesses and death in children under a certain age, yeah. they decided to proxy, the explore, to explore how caregivers experience their children mm -hmm. using malaria because in Uganda malaria is what they could use. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have, so when you're doing research or doing an, any analysis, if you, if you cannot get enough people for the developmental delay, mm -hmm. you can proxy with something else. Something so this, they yeah. used malaria. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's published yeah. in the yeah. malaria yeah. journal. Yeah, it has to be, it has gone on for a long, a long time. time. It has now. to, yeah. and it has to have a lot of impact. Mm -hmm. So they controlled for people who had had malaria repetitively and people who had not had malaria, and caregivers who were treating people with malaria within their homes, yeah. and then also caregivers who were uh, giving help in a community. Mm -hmm. okay. So what they found, number one, was that where, how a child experiences physical distress because of a disorder or mm -hmm. any disease, mm -hmm. The primary caregiver, who is always usually the mother in Africa, yeah. experiences exactly the same emotionally. Mm. Yeah. I agree. Exactly yeah, I agree. the same emotionally. And but what do we do whenever a child has an issue? What do we encourage them to do? Mm. Take the child for never the mother. Mm. So they re realize that both the child and the mother need treatment. Got the mother's emotionally yeah. and the child's physically. physically. Yeah. 
And because the mother is so emotional, I'm saying it's it, they used the primary caregiver, but in Africa, because it's mostly the mother, yeah, I refer to the mother. Yeah. yeah. So they said, so you, they, you can find even that this child's uh, progress might be being hindered by the caregiver's emotional issues. Yeah. So it becomes a vicious cycle. Yeah. So they realize that, and this happened mostly in homes where it's a, it's a, a nuclear home. Mm, yeah. But in the sample space for the, the community, community, they didn't experience that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I found that really powerful. That is yeah. Which is so clear to show that your community has a big it's impact cool. on your mental health. Yeah. And your mental health has a big impact in how you render and deliver services. Their children were far more improved in those yeah, types of settings yeah, that's true. That's than true. in nuclear homes. Yeah, so I found that really powerful. And then now to go on for the unsupportive partner. One of the biggest issues that was emerged in these nuclear homes was an unsupportive partner. Yeah. And what their experiences were on the caregiver. So it, it was shown that in twofold. This woman, because men and women experience and express emotions different, yeah, yeah. With which and they don't speak to each other. No, we experience emotions like this. We love our children, but we love them in parallel. Yeah, and yeah. if you did any kind of maths or physics, parallel lines never meet. They, never they don't yeah. cross. Yeah. But you, so you've got to devise a way for parallel A to talk to parallel B. Yeah. They never meet. Yeah. But you've got to send messages, signals through better communication. Yeah. But what ordinarily happens, because the woman is getting frustrated and stressed, she, it's, it, she turns immediately her frustration onto the ones closest to her. Mm -hmm. This can manifest in your, even at work, yeah. oh, your yeah. family members, your sisters, yeah. your brothers, but mostly because your husband is at home, him. And what does, how does he respond? Because he's not understanding you. Yeah. He, he withdraws, shuts he shuts down. Shuts. And then you don't realize that now you both have a part to play. Your partner is maybe was unsupportive, but because he didn't understand what you were going through, exactly. or he was he delayed it because again I like to bring this example up. You had nine months to carry your baby, to bond with your baby, to be with your baby. The baby comes immediately. Your body responds for you to love and bond with that yeah, baby. Yeah. This man, dear, he's, still, he's, he's, nine, he's, months he's, he's behind. nine months behind. So many men actually, it's just a delay. Not yeah. that they're unsupportive, yeah. they just need a bit more, more time. time. But because we need the help right now, now then yeah. we spark off. Because so it becomes yeah. a vicious cycle. Yeah. And then they realize that now, how, so that on top of treating the mother, we have to treat the unit. Mm. Oh, yes. Speak oh, to yes. the man and the woman so that, you know, it, it's, I mean, I love, I'm all for therapy. I'm all for counseling. Actually, me yeah, therapy, not so much counseling. And I, I really want to implore bump lovers. If you have contacts of a therapist, a professional psychologist, not a counselor, because all counselors do is, is help you maneuver through the pain of what you're going through. They treat symptoms. Mm -hmm. Whereas psychiatrists and psychologists mm -hmm. get into your mind to find yeah. out the actual source and cause of an issue. Yeah. So if you treat that, then now you can manage the symptoms yeah. thereafter. Yeah. So if, if people can meet, I, I've been advised actually, there's a doctor who I, I want to go and see at Macquarie University Department of Psychology, who I've been, I was referred to. Mm. But I'll give you feedback when I come. Because even when you're okay, yeah. you think you're okay. You need therapy. You just don't know that you yeah. need it. But yet, if you're struggling with, with something that's so obvious, you need it even more. Oh, yes. And then they now realize that now the children who are brought up like that, marital distress has one of the biggest impacts on ch child de childhood development. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was so happy to read that sentence because oh my God, there's a constant that. debate about, no, children should stay in the home of two parents. Mm -hmm. Re whether they are, it's a healthy relationship or toxic, they should be brought up like that. But that paper found that in homes where children, where, were, where there, were, there was distress between the parents, it bred an insecurity in the exactly. children that was now manifested now they're looking at the older children and manifested high degrees of low self-esteem yeah. and rejection She's actually being a, a topic of its own <laughs> we are going to discuss okay. we will yeah, discuss this topic yeah. so we now the psychiatrists come back and realize now we also need to treat the older the children. children do you see how many broken yes. people there are yeah. because of just one issue mm. so for me it was it's it's just to talk to the, the miss anonymous yeah. We all need, as a unit, anybody who is giving support to this child, yeah. you all need treatment. Even that maid now needs treatment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone needs yeah. some sort of treatment. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to project off 
um, bad emotions and negative vibes yeah. for everybody. And then it's a vicious cycle. Yeah. Everybody now is bouncing off negativity on yes, everybody. Yeah. And yet, if you can come together and speak, and of course, once in a while, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're aware that it's going to happen, yeah. then at least yeah. you can respond different and yeah. healthier. Mm -hmm. So that at the very least, for you guys, go and poor yourselves. Mm -hmm. But let's not harm children yeah. who yeah. have, for what they've yeah. not done anything. Yeah. Let's be better for our yeah. children. Yeah. Oh Heal your relationship <laughs> so that your children can <laughs> thrive yeah. better. Based on what you've shared, everything you're saying is, is based on what you feel. What you've seen. But you've yeah. not gone to hospital. I would suggest, mm -hmm. brace your fear. I know you are working 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. But the child is not going to take themselves to hospital mm. and you need to take the, the child to hospital to see a pediatrician. Mm. So that then, if the child has a problem, you can't put, you, your, your maid is not equipped That's to true. care for the for child. The child yeah. Even you as a parent are yeah, not equipped husband. to care for that. Even your husband is not equipped to care for a child who's having neuro and neurotypical mm. delays. So that would mean that now your choice of school yes. would be different yeah. from you taking the child to a neurotypical school. So you, I feel like you're there, Kubati Saring, like, you know, what like you are, do? should I do here, here, here? My husband, husband is not supportive, blah, blah, blah. but that, that's, those patches you're making will break. Mm. So it's best that you build the right foundation. Go to a pediatrician. Mm. If he does tell you your child is on the spectrum, you now know which school to take your child to. Mm. Ultimately, go to as many um, doctors as you can and not just one, so that you can come up, even you as a parent, with, with a decision. You know, kind of like with a decision. Mm. You can be well armed with have a good decision as you're making. Yeah. Mm. You can have a well-informed decision. decision. Yeah. And then you now decide there for which school to take your child. If your child is going to a school um, of children with special needs, they will take care of all of those things that mm. you're really worried about. But if they tell you that your child is no more and is actually having delays that you can work on, when you go to that school, you're going to be a different kind of parent. Because mm. you're going to be the kind of parent who's not going to go and tell that child, okay, now I work 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Based on what you shared, I kind of feel like you're the people who work with Indians. You know Indians, eh? Mm. They don't want to know. You have family they troubles. Know. They have family yeah. troubles, yeah. working 7 a.m. Monday to Monday. Mm. They don't want to know, mm. yeah? So I would suggest that now you're the one who goes, you're the one who's the best friend of the teacher. You understand, mm. the one who talks to the yeah. teacher, sends them some air time mm. to ask yeah. them to help you. you. Do your what you're not able to do. you're not able to, and your maid is not, also your maid, maid is not mm -mm. able to. For me, I'll, I'll speak like Angie today. Oh, sorry, Angie could not be around today because she's unwell. We missed you, Angie. But I, I just reminded when I was about to say this statement, calm down like the world is taking you so much speed i feel like she has you know she has a job to do she has a child that is stressed first calm down first take a day off introspect think about these things that are stressing you that job is stressing you that child is stressing you these guys that are not helping you your husband and maid you feel they are also stressing you like you're also sick now you're becoming a mental case because these are things that That's drive true. us yeah, yeah to the mental extreme you start to become insane so calm down take a day off at the end of the day i was at a barrio the other day and i was reminded that the things that really take our attention don't even matter yeah. when you're going when on 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 that day when they are burying you people only care about the impact you left how you raised your children what all this goodness they ne they no one cares about the hours you spent on that job no, so many times when we are bringing in these job perspectives mm -mm, first calm down mm -hmm. this is a child this is an important being that the lord has placed in your care so calm down think about it because normally you make decisions after you have put yourself in that space of introspection Banange, what is disturbing me i'm not okay i'm not okay what is it then you now start to think mm, yeah and it brings brings me back to what you said the unit is now distorted already. Yeah. You're not able to take care of your child because even you, you're not okay. Yeah. yeah. So think about it. Find help with you first. Yeah. Then you'll be able to fill your cup. I feel like she needs to fill her cup so much. Get that yeah. energy to the brim so that you're able to now overflow. Put it out. It's, it will be easy for you to communicate easily with your husband. It will be easy for you to find help 
when your cup is full, but if you're still distracted, you're like Nkolechi, Nkolechi, you need to calm down a bit and then you'll be able to find, I feel like she needs that. The world is taking her speed, yeah. The world is taking her speed, mm. yeah. No, but I also feel that right now, Anonymous, wherever you are, you've been armed with an artillery of tools to help yeah. you uh, maneuver through this, right from getting help to first sitting down and relaxing, to going and getting, you know, professional um, help to actually diagnose your child. There's so much that you have. Uh, but we'd say take it one step at a time day by day so that you actually move instead of the thoughts just being there right there in your mind and if you're out there and you have some advice for Miss Anonymous please let us let her read the comment section give her yes, some advice yes, in there yes. let her know what you think um, that she should do and mm -hmm. if you're looking for a place where you can come with your friends and your family talk about healing <laughs> <laughs> or speak to someone about what you might be going through your home, your child is having some delays, call them to you. Come on over, have brunch every Sunday, 90,000 for adults and 60,000 for children. Come here, let's sit down, let's have good conversations, let's have constructive conversations. We can't always be in the club. <laughs> let us find places where we can actually have conversations with each other, with our spouses, men, men, yeah, talk to her, talk to your wife. Yeah, so you are worried the other day, you are not let's happy. Into it. Let's see hmm? what's going on, and you never know how the nights can end. Yeah. Get family healing uh, because hmm? the room. Yeah, quite special. I love that. Uh, they are wonderful. They, I don't know, mm -hmm. some good can come out of, of, of your situation. But um, until next time, we can't wait to have our next conversation with you. We love from Bob Clark.